Soon students in this hallway and others in the district are going to be getting take home bags of meals for the weekend. Now administrators say that it's so important for these kids to get fed because many do go hungry once they leave class. Like most schools in the basin, eating at school isn't the problem. I can't answer all the questions about why it's happening, but what we want to do is to meet that need. You know, it's a wonderful program. You know, it's, it's the vulnerable demographic. It's the children and the elderly who really aren't benefiting from the economic boom. That's all about to change for many students in Austin Elementary. <laughs> Packed bags like these ones are going home with students teachers are able to identify as need-based something teachers can oftentimes witness in the classroom. Not only filling their brain with math and science and reading, but being able to fill their stomachs as well. So this is going to work, you know, hand in, in glove with our own educational uh, goals. A goal Alicia Mitchell says they're set in meeting. We as a district here in, at Pecos Barso Toya consider it a um, a blessing that we've been given this and we promise that we are going to be good stewards of the food for the children. Volunteers will be sacking over the next few weeks and the district numbers will be coming out soon. To find out more information on how you can help or how to donate, you can visit CBS7.com. In Pecos, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS7 News.